Hi guys, Drew here, back with another video, doing another growl review as usual, and they lose, guys. They lose 2-1 in OT to the main Mariners. They haven't played much OT games lately, guys, Um, but they lose in OT to Maine last night. Um, The Growlers now are 41-20-4. They are second in their division behind the Reading Royals. The goal that going for the growl of the one goal um goes to Todd Skirving. He gets his twentieth of the season. Uh Todd becoming a twenty goal scorer. It sounds pretty weird to say that, but um he definitely um becomes the thirty goal scorer that he um never once was, but he is now. Um Maine played a pretty decent game. Matthew Santos getting the OT winner for the Mariners. Santos is having a pretty good season with Maine. Um the Growl is being second in their division. Uh, there's three teams actually down below them um, that are kind of in the race for the playoffs. Um, Maine's OT win last night pushed them to get fourth in their division. Um, most likely, the Growl will play Tuati there in the playoffs, the affiliates of Montreal. Um, the Lions having a pretty good season, but um, it would be a pretty good season, pretty good series to see the Growlers and the Lions match up in the playoffs. Uh, Worcester's out in the playoff. Um, Worcester's not in the playoff spot right now. They are two points behind Maine with 70. Maine has 72. Toa Oliver has 72, and the Growls have 86. So most likely they're going to end the season off with um, second in their division with eight, not 86 points, but like, I don't even know how much points, but they are they are going to probably most likely end up in second um, in their division. He's the Growlers are having a really good season so far for the Growlers, and um, the Lions are a good team too, so they might have a really good um, deep playoffs. Um, my playoffs, like my playoff prediction, will end up coming out at the end of the season after they are done playing Adirondack on stand Sunday. So at the end of Sunday, they will play Adirondack and Monday I'll make my review. So I say about Tuesday, I'll make my um playoff prediction, or maybe Wednesday. I'm not sure, um, because next week's Easter break for me. So uh, we will definitely try to get a few videos posted, and get the playoff predictions all set and done. The round next game to play is actually tonight against Maine. Hopefully they can win. Um, if Maine wins tonight, I'm kind of getting scared if they do. Um, if Maine wins, they're going to end up in third, maybe, most likely, if Tuati Vare loses. Um, and if the Growls play Maine in the playoffs, I don't feel pretty confident about that first round, guys. The Growls playing against Maine, their goalie, Stefanos Likas, he's a really good goaltender. Um, he played backup in the NHL last season, actually, for Buffalo although Buffalo was a really bad team, as he backed up Michael Hauser, who currently um, plays in the CHL with Cincinnati, but he has played some games with Rochester. But um, anyways, guys, um, the Royals most likely might play Maine. If they don't, they will play um, Worcester. Um, most likely it's going to be the Lions and the Growlers playing against each other in the playoffs. So Make your predictions. Who do you think going to win um, that round? I will make my playoff predictions, so I'll see, tell you how deep the crowd will go in the playoffs. So, hope you guys will enjoy that. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, you can like this video. You can subscribe. If you really liked it, we are on the road to 200 subscribers. I'm Drew Dye, the Hockey Guy, and I'm out. I will talk to you all again soon. A little messed up by the ending there, but go growl as y'all.